AAA says between tomorrow and Sunday, 46 million Americans will travel at least 50 miles from home. And thousands of them will be doing their driving right here in Iowa. With some snow on the horizon, Steve Carlin is live along I-235 in Des Moines to show us what's being done to keep you safe. Steve? Yeah, Stacy. if any of these people driving on I-235 right now are getting an early start on their Thanksgiving travel, they're smart. It's not going to be horrible, but the snowfall that's coming to central Iowa could sure have better timing. I like the fact that it's coming in from the west, so we'll be able to watch it come in. Meteorologist Matinka Slater is looking for one to four inches of snow overnight here in the KCCI viewing area. It's not uh, a major snowstorm by any means, but it's an inconvenience. An inconvenience, especially if you're traveling on Wednesday afternoon. Even after the snow ends by noon on Wednesday, the wind is going to start to pick up. We could have some blowing snow Wednesday afternoon. Blowing snow could create a camouflage problem for highway drivers who leave work early to get a good Thanksgiving start. We call it black ice. The roadway looks clear, but it freezes as that snow blows across the roadway. If your Thanksgiving trip just takes you across town, you'll notice that the Des Moines City streets are already wet and turning white. The idea is to put this anti-icing agent on the roadway, a salt brine material, to keep that uh, precipitation from sticking to the roadways. The city used to just treat the main street. But this year, Public Works is pre-treating all 2,200 lane miles of Des Moines streets at least 24 hours before the first flake falls for every snow event. These tanks are all filled with brine solution and some people are wondering about the environmental safety of spraying this stuff on the streets time and time again. Well, Des Moines Public Works says it's way better than the alternative. Which is 100% rock salt. Brine solution is 23% salt, 77% water. Where we can use this low cost alternative with a lot less salt residue, we do. But if this pre Thanksgiving snow becomes packed and the streets do ice up, the city will be breaking out the rock salt. Now, everybody we talked with today said the same thing. We don't have a whole lot of winter driving experience yet in 2014. We've only had one snowfall so far. So slow down and give yourself a lot of extra time to get where you're going. As always, if you want to check statewide road conditions, go to 511ia.org before you even take off. Now, those road conditions are given by Iowa State troopers who are out in the field, out on the roads every half hour. That information is updated, so that's the very best, best information you can get for your Thanksgiving travel or travel anytime. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody, and safe travel. Reporting live along I-235 in Des Moines, Steve Carlin, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. And KCCI can keep you up to date on the weather this Thanksgiving holiday through our new weather app. You can get hourly forecasts and interactive radar all through your smartphone, available for both Android and iPhones.